So good. Whoa. <laughs> This feels so good. I'm out. Oh dear. I've just experienced sunrise and it was wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Is this the beginning of the end? I really hope so. Today is Monday the 29th of March. And today, for the first time, what, for three months, nearly four, we've been allowed to leave our homes officially and drive to a location with no restrictions, apart from the fact we can't stay over, we're going to come home, which is absolutely fine. So I've got out and, oh wow, it just feels surreal, it's just unbelievable to be able to stand here on the beach and breathe the sea air and watch the sunrise and ah oh, it's just amazing just amazing ah oh. it's very windy as you can hear and probably see vlogging camera's been over three or four times already ah oh. but what a morning what a morning After all that excitement, I think I need a coffee now. So where am I? Yes, I'm at the beach, but where about? So I'm on the North Norfolk coast, and I'm at um, Burnham Overy Staith. Now, I came to Burnham Overy Staith a couple of years ago, in the summer, is when I had the uh, uh, ice cream it melted all down my fingers, if you remember watching that vlog. If you don't, you can go up and watch it now. And where I am now, drinking my coffee, is on the dunes, just between Holcombe, which is in that direction, and Burnham Overy Staith, where I parked, which is in that direction. It's a bit of a walk, probably half an hour, 20 minutes from the car to here. And I must admit, I'd left myself plenty of time this morning. I'd got to the 
car park there at Burnham Overy State at 5.30. Sunrise wasn't until 6.39. So it was dark when I got there and I walked across the coast path track towards the dunes here in the, in the dark with the seabirds beginning to wake up. Or well, I think I probably woke a few of them up. And the closest, closer I got to the, the sea, the more I could see a little bit of colour coming in the sky. So I thought, well, I might be in luck. I didn't really care. It obviously it's nice to get a sunrise, but you know, I would have been happy just to experience the start of the day without anything too spectacular. But when I got here, then it started to kick off a bit and the sky was turning and I remembered, now hang on, you're here, photography, you're vlogging. Oh, B-roll, forgot about that. Right, better get some B-roll. Got the old camera out, started to get some B-roll. Wind was blowing a gale. Camera was going over, looked at the sky. Oh, let's kick it off, gonna miss it. So it was one of those waters where I wanted to leave myself enough time so I could get a decent composition. So I could frame the sunrise with the dunes and the marron grasses particularly flowing into the sunrise. And I ended up pretty much going for one that was okay, but I didn't spend a lot of time looking if I'm honest, because the sunrise was about to happen and I hadn't really got myself set up and slightly annoying, but so I have taken some shots up the top there. I've just come down a little bit now in the dunes here just to get out of the wind so I can talk to you. But I, had, I took some shots at the top. I took some shots of the sunrise. Uh, I took uh, a couple of landscape shots, but I think I'll probably prefer the portrait shots where I've got the grasses in the foreground that are sort of leading up and, and the wind that's blowing will be accentuating that lead of the marron grasses up towards uh, more grasses in the mid-ground with hopefully some of those grasses catching some light and then the sun rising in the background across the sea. Um, so hopefully they will come out. Um, and then I took a couple extra at the end as the sun had risen. And then I put the long lens on, the 100 to 400, and just went in a bit tighter to the outcrop over at the corner of Holcomb and Wells uh, where the tide is now coming in. And took a couple of tighter shots there with the colour still in the sky. So I'll show those to you now and I'm going to sit and drink my coffee and enjoy it. Lemon windy up there. Oh yes, very gusty. Getting sandblasted. There's sand coming off the dunes on my face. Oh, I was scared to even get my camera out to be honest because of the, the amount of sand blowing in. There's no way I would even consider changing lenses with that amount of sand blowing around. But so as you can see, the sun's come up now. It's probably I don't know. Who, who knows, it's about nine o'clock, half state, something like that. Um, so obviously we're, we've lost the, the nice morning light. I've got today off and tomorrow off, so I am literally just gonna make the most of these two days. Um, so far, so good this morning. I'm gonna head now to 
to the harbour at Burnham Overy, um, you know, just to see the tides in. It's high tide now, actually, so um, just as if I maybe get some boat shots, don't know. But I'm just going to enjoy it and see what the rest of the day brings. Oh, blimey, I am knackered. <laughs> My hair is all sickened up. I was literally walking into a headwind there all the way back across those salt marshes. That was a hell of a walk. <laughs> Bracing, but brilliant. Right, I'm not gonna take any more shots here, I don't think. The sun's just too high um, and the potential's gone for this place. But I'm not gonna finish it here. What I'm gonna do is there's a couple of other places that I'm gonna visit. Literally just around the corner from here at Holcombe, one of my subscribers, um, Sheila, I think her name was, I can't remember her last name, sorry Sheila, uh, left me a message on one of my earlier vlogs uh, last week that there was a row of trees, now an old trees, yeah, okay, bear with me, but there's a row of trees arched over a road that um, she says looks worth checking out. So it's literally just down the road. So while I'm here, I might as well just check that out for potential. I might take a shot, might not, depending on the conditions. And as it's breakfast time, um, there is a very, very uh, good deli at Thornham, which is back that way, which I went to before, and I'm going to go there and get a bacon roll. So while I'm at Thornham, why not pop down, have a look at the coal shed. Um, I've heard there's a couple of Development's gone on down there. Um, just check that place out, see what that looks like. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. Head in the car, check the row of trees, get a bite to eat, Thornham. Excellent, cracking day. Right, let's go. So I think this is the avenue of trees that Sheila was talking about. Um, Sheila Foster Hancock is her name. Got a, I've looked her name up. So thank you again for this, Sheila. Much appreciated. Uh, yeah, and it is a beautiful avenue of trees. Really nice twisted trees that lead down into Holcomb Hall. Now it's not the best conditions to take these in today. Uh, quite a harsh light, very contrasty, narrow atmosphere. However, stop moaning. You know, it is a beautiful avenue of trees, and I think, you know, given the right conditions, I think maybe a little bit, um, maybe a bit more into the spring and summer, it might look really nice. Um, and of course, with some really soft light coming through these trees, that would look gorgeous. But I've taken a shot anyway. Um, struggled with the composition a bit. Um, the obvious is a portrait shot leading through to the back, but I don't know, it's just, it wasn't really doing it for me, so I've gone landscape. Um, so the, the path is sort of leading your way through from left to right, so the path goes into the, uh, the, the right third. Um, there has been some light coming through, which has helped, and even managed to get a, a runner come through a second ago with a blue jacket on, so it just adds a bit of context to the uh, picture and a bit more interest to it. But yeah, no, a really beautiful path of trees. Holcomb Hall itself is gorgeous. Lots, lots to see around here. But yeah, I think better conditions. This is a cracking shot. Today, it's a good shot and I'm pleased I found it. So thanks again, Sheila. I'm starving, so I'm going to head to Thornham Deli and get myself something to eat. And then I'm just going to head into Thornham, uh, down to the coal barn, and have a look down there quickly. So I'll see you down there shortly, after I've been fed. Well, I'm fed and watered, but uh, couldn't get to Thornham Harbour. The road was closed off down to the coal barn, so couldn't get down there, so I came to Holm 
uh, which is where I am now. I've had a walk down on the beach. It's a lovely day, but it's a blue sky day, so photography wise, nothing really going now. But I've had a fantastic day. A bit like these chaps behind me, I should think. Their first day out on a golf course for quite a long time as well. So I can imagine they're as pleased as I am to get out this morning. It's been absolutely brilliant just to be able to get out, enjoy the fresh air, especially down here at the coast. It's wonderful. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow I'm out again. So yeah, you know, hopefully there'll be a few more vlogs to come on my channel now. Things are looking up. Uh, let's hope they keep that way. So anyway, you guys stay safe. Thanks ever so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Give us a like if you, uh, if you like what I'm putting out and stay tuned for more videos, hopefully in the very near future. You take care.